Content is a king for Ayushman Khurana and his choice of movies are a proof. His journey from Vicky Donor to the last released Bareilly Ki Barfi is epic. In his next Andhadun, he is playing a blind pianist helmed by Sri Ram Raghavan. The trailer of which released last week that received applause from celebrities and Twitterati alike. And now, the first song too saw its release. Titled Naina Da Kya Kasoor, the film's male lead Ayushman shared the song video on Twitter and wrote, When you can see without seeing, you are in love. Naina Da Kya Kasoor, song out now. The song shows a blooming love between Ayushman and Radhika and how, by the end of the song, she suspects that he is not really blind. Well, besides Andadun, Ayushman has also signed another quirky film titled Badhai Ho, a laughter ride in which Ayushman's mother, gets pregnant at an older age. Ayushman's old films have been very pleasing to the eye. Let's wait to see more of him this year. Filmmaker Rajkumar Hirani says he is not actor Sanjay Dutt's close friend. Hirani told screenwriter Anjum Rajabali at the Indian Film and TV Directors Association's special masterclass in Mumbai. Hirani said, The film Sanju has nothing to do with my relationship with Sanjay Dutt. I could have made some other films, maybe PK, Part 2, or another part of Three Idiots, but I got carried away by hearing this story. I don't think I am his best friend. I made the film because of his story. Though I have done two films with him, like Lagiro Munna Bhai and Munna Bhai MBBS, I have never partied with him. I do not come under his friend circle. He is close with Sanjay Gupta, Mahesh Manjrekar and those people. What was his perception of Sanjay? My perception of Sanjay was that, though most of his actions are wrong, like sleeping with his friend's girlfriend, keeping the gun, doing drugs, etc., but he is not a villain. He is not a bad man from his heart. From Sanjay's drug addiction, personal affair, a jail term, to his bonds with his parents and friends, Hirani's Sanju delved into different aspects of the actor's life, but many felt that the film also left out a lot. A few days back, actor Shahid Kapoor was spotted outside a recording studio in Mumbai, looking all exhausted, trying to balance his personal and professional life. From being there for Meera as she delivered Zen, to taking care of Misha, who was not keeping well since a few days, and to being there for promotions of his upcoming film, Patigul Meter Chalu, Shahid had a lot going on in his head. Well, this frustration came out with the paparazzi. He got a little irritated with the shutter sound of the camera. While conversing with the actor, see here what happened. Well, the film is called Batti Gul Meter Chalu. So, as the title is, the film is uh, titled Quirky, hai, Entertaining. The uh, film has a message in the film. So, these two things are in the title. The uh, film is also like this. Sir, it will not be able to. Please, you guys, photo, tuck, tuck, tuck. Please, 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 please. Hmm? Sorry, I'll start again. Well, good news is Shahid has resumed movie promotions and will be seen in the upcoming film Batikul Meter Chalu. He had earlier stated how being a parent was above all. The movie will release on the 21st September. Recently released Abhishek Bachchan, Vicky Kaushal and Tapsi Pannu star Aban Marzia is receiving praises not just from the critiques and stars but also from Twitterati users. But unfortunately, Tapsi is not being a part of these praises and the reason is her name. After watching the movie, filmmaker Karan Jor tweeted, Vicky Kaushal is all gusto and glory portraying a manic lover with genius abandon. He has some moments of brilliance in the film. Tapsi Pannu holds the strings of her layered character like an absolute veteran. Bravo, Manmarzia. Well, Tapsi found out Karan had not tagged her current account in one of the tweets. Here's what Tapsi said. Karan, you need to start tagging me correctly now. I always end up missing these compliments on my timeline. I have worked hard for it. Karan apologized and said, oh no, I am sorry. Well, this didn't stop there. Arjun Kapoor also wished the Manmarzia team on Twitter. Here's what his tweet reads. In a time where the world needs more love, let's hope the audiences give Manmarzia the highest form of love. All the best. Tapsi replied to Arjun, Thank you Arjun, now tag me right after you see the film, please. Arjun said, I'll hug you after I see the film, tagging that so last season. Then Karan asked Arjun, You must tag her right, if and when you do. She gets very upset otherwise. To which the actress replied saying, Yeah guys, I want to make sure the compliments and wishes are delivered at the right address. So what do you think? Isn't it their conversation funny? The biggest public festival Ganesh Chaturthi commenced on Thursday. Many Bollywood celebrities welcomed the elephant-headed god home. Actor Shilpa Shetty Kundra, who brought home the idol on the 12th night, now took part in the Visarjan ceremony. But her Visarjan ceremony was unlike any other celebrity. 
Why? Because she danced and celebrated each moment of the occasion. Watch it yourself. Well, this was not it. She finally played the dhol with the bandwalas. Well, truly the lady knows how to enjoy every moment of her life. Won't you agree when I say that this was unlike any other Ganpati Visarjan you've seen?